This is a sports catastrophe production. Hey there, Heather, ho there, it's Jeff Cutter Diamond, welcoming you to another sports catastrophe birthday boy. And the birthday boy for today, October the 5th, is in the news for all the right reasons this past few years. His personal life has basically been all over social media and pop culture, even though that he's playing for the Kansas City Chiefs as a tight end. Obviously, you know who I'm talking about. And yeah, I, I'm shocked I didn't pick get this guy for my in my previous three years of doing Sports Catastrophe birthdays on October 5th. But you know who he is. He's 35 years old today from Westlake, Ohio. Travis Kelsey, number 89, 87 in your programs. He actually co-hosts a podcast covering topics from football to popular culture. And of course, his relationship with Taylor Swift has drawn massive media coverage and stimulated viewership and revenue. Well, kind of, for all the wrong reasons. But that's just me. So he was born in Westlake, Ohio. And his older brother, Jason, played in the NFL. He played 13 years for the Eagles, being center, and actually winning a Super Bowl. So yeah, and that's not forget his involvement in helping Rey Mysterio win at WrestleMania 40 in Philadelphia. Regardless, Travis attended Cleveland Heights High School, playing football, basketball, and baseball. He was a good quarterback. He was kind of considered a two-star recruit. So many non-major schools went from Akron, Eastern Michigan, and Miami of Ohio wanted him to play for the team. But Kelsey decided to accept a scholarship offer to the University of Cincy, joining his brother Jason, who was left guard for the Bearcats. So he redshirted, and then in 2009, he was actually playing tight end and sometimes quarterback. He ran for two touchdowns and all that. Unfortunately, he was suspended for the 2010 season after testing positive for Mary Jane. And then in 2011, he went back to playing tight end, making two touchdowns. But in 2012, he was better. He had eight receiving touchdowns. He did graduate in 2022 with a Bachelor of Interdisciplinary Studies degree. So the 2013 NFL draft happened, and did people want tight ends? Well, I don't know. Well, since he took Tyler Eifert, 21st overall, from her name. So Eifert went to the Bengals. They could have went to their hometown guy, Jason Kelsey. I mean, Travis Kelsey, if you will. Philly in the second round took Zach Ertz from Stanford. That was a good move. Dallas took Gavin Escobar from San Diego State. Blah. San Fran took Vance McDonald from Rice for tight ends. And then Kelsey's with the 63rd pick. Taken by the Chiefs. Reed was actually familiar with Kelsey because he coached Jason in 2011 during his time as head coach of the Eagles. So the Chiefs hired Andy Reed to be the coach. The Chiefs signed Kelsey to a four-year, $3 million rookie contract. Unfortunately, though, he injured his knee in the preseason, which ruined him and all that. He only played one snap in his rookie campaign. Then 2014, thankfully, he was okay. Uh, he got a touchdown catch from Alex Smith at the Dolphins, and that was it. Kelsey put up 110 receiving yards against the Cardinals in one game. And was actually the lady receiver of the Chiefs in 2014. In 2015, he had two touchdowns. Catches in his first game against the Texans. It was a pretty good tight end, making five touchdown catches, helping the Chiefs get to the 26-15-16 playoffs. And had eight catches for 128 yards as they shut up the Texans. And then in the divisional round, he had six catches, but the Pats beat the Chiefs. He was at a five-year, $46 million contract, making him 91st overall. Well, in the top 100 players of 2016. Unfortunately, though, he had two unsportsmanlike conduct penalties against the Jaguars, which was not happy at all about that. He was fine, but he was not suspended. He put up 1,125 receiving yards. That was the highest amount of tight ends. So the Chiefs won 12 games and made the first round bye. 
In the division round, he had five catches for 77 yards. In 2017, he had eight catches on and three yards. And he looked pretty good being a good tight end and all that. He had the most second most receiving yards by a tight end in 2017 behind only Gronk and all that. Unfortunately, though, he suffered a massive concussion against the Titans in the wildcard round, in which the Titans made that big comeback and made Sean McDonough's voice really crack. Kelsey was actually benefiting from Patrick Mahomes, who was coming in to be the starter for the 2018 season. He would rebound and did pretty well for himself. 168 yards in one game against the Raiders. Anyway, yeah. That was one of the best moments of round. Kelsey actually broke the record for most receiving yards by a tight end in a single season. At first, but then George Kittle beat him to it. He put up 1,336 receiving yards. So the Chiefs got a first round bye. In the divisional round, he put up 108 receiving yards in the win against the Colts. And then the AFC title game, he only had three receptions, but one was a touchdown when they lost in overtime to the Pats. And then Kelsey in 2019 became the fastest tight end in history to get 500 receptions. And then with 1,229 receiving yards, he actually became the first tight end to get four straight 1,000 yard receiving seasons. On that. Kelsey put up put out ten receptions for 134 yards and three touchdowns. As the Chiefs in the divisional round were down 24 nothing, but then came back with 41 unanswered points to win 51-31. And I remember that game with my buddy Bill Lane at his house, and the Texans were up 24 nothing. I told Bill. It's still early. It's only the second quarter. I'm not scared. Lo and behold, the Chiefs won. Anyway, Kelsey caught six passes in Super Bowl 54 against the Niners, had a receiving touchdown, and they won the game, and he won a Super Bowl ring. So anyway, Kelsey would sign a four-year $57 million contract extension in August 2020. Anyway, it happened. He put up a lot of receiving yards. He made 105 receptions in the 2020-21 season, the COVID season, and put up 1,416 yards receiving, making him the single season yards holder for a tight end. He was second for all receivers behind only Stephen Diggs. Kelsey caught eight passes for 109 yards and a touchdown against the Browns. In the AFC title game, he put up 13 catches for 118 yards and they beat the Bills to go to the Super Bowl 55 and then put up 133 yards catching, which was the most by a tight end in the Super Bowl. But the Chiefs could not score a touchdown on the Bucks. Man, did I regret that pick. Kelsey became the longest tenured member of the Chiefs as one Chief retired and one was released. So anyway, he was the fastest tight end in 2021 to reach 8,000 career yards, surpassing Rob Gronkowski. He had a sixth consecutive 1,000-yard season. Unfortunately, though, he couldn't play a game because of COVID-19. And it was the first time since his rookie season that he actually missed a game at all. Regardless, in the regular season game ender against the Broncos, he was the fastest tight end in NFL history to reach 9,000 yards. He put up 1,125 receiving yards and 9 touchdowns. He had 108 yards receiving against the Steelers in the wildcard round. And 96 yards. Receiving and the game winning touchdown in that crazy divisional round game against the Bills that Buffalo thought they had enough time and all that. So, anyway, he had 95 yards in the AFC title game against the Bungles, but they lost in overtime. But still, he was good. And then Kelsey put up four receiving touchdowns in one game against the Raiders. And that was the first time a tight end had done that in a while. Anyway, he received his seventh consecutive 1,000-yard season of receptions for, well, 1,338 receiving yards. He got two touchdown catches against the Jaguars in the division round and got 14 catches, the most by a tight end in prep history. 
Kelsey got to the, help the Super Bowl team in 57. The Chiefs would face the Eagles. Unfortunately, though, Jason Kelsey was playing for the Eagles. So it was brother versus brother. It was the first time two brothers as players on opposing teams happened. We all know about the Harpo brothers coaching against each other. Chiefs won the Super Bowl 38-35. He missed the first game in the 2023 season due to a knee injury, but came back. He broke the Chiefs franchise yard for career receiving yards in Week 9. He almost got 1,000 yards. He would have got 1,000 receiving yards had he played for the Chiefs against the Chargers, but he didn't want to play, which was stupid. I mean, he could have had 8 straight 1,000-yard receiving seasons and all that. Nevertheless, Kelsey actually... In the AFC title game against the Ravens, broke Jerry Rice's record for most playoff receptions and got to the Super Bowl, which was Kelsey's fourth in five seasons. And then he had nine receptions for 93 yards. And the Chiefs went to overtime to beat the Niners 25 22 as Kelsey won his third Super Bowl ring. And the Chiefs became the first team to repeat as Super Bowl champs since the Pats in the early 2000s. Anyway, Kelsey, in April 2024, this just past year, signed a two-year deal for $34 million. In week four, he's now the, he made the Chiefs mark for career reception surpassing Tony Gonzalez. So, as of right now, as of this taping, he's played 162 games, had 11,397 receiving yards, 915 receptions, with 74 touchdowns. In the postseason, he's played 22 games because the Chiefs can just practically get in quick as a bunny. In the postseason, he's made 165 receptions, 1,903 receiving yards, and 19 touchdowns. So he does have the most postseason receptions by any player with 165. Seven straight 1,000-yard seasons. That's an NFL record among tight ends. 1,416 receiving yards by a tight end. That's a record. Well, he did in 2020. Um, yeah. And Chiefs franchise records for receiving yards and receptions. Three-time Super Bowl champion. And he did quite well. At the left of the, he's done pretty well for his own activism for social justice. In the entertainment run, he's been in a lot of things. He's been on a podcast with Brother Jason. New Heights and all that. So anyway, yeah. A lot of podcasts and all that. So Kelsey has his personal life. He actually had a dating show. And his and Maya Benberry won that competition. So they went there. But they broke up in January 2017. Kelsey was in a relationship with influencer Kayla and Nicole Brown for five years. And then decided to date Taylor Swift in 2023. And they were known as a super couple and all that. Their highly publicized relationship and Swift's attendance at games stimulated interest in the Chiefs and the NFL during the 2023 season. And a lot of games actually drew viewership records, ticket sales, and merchandise sales records and all that. A Chiefs-Jets game had 27 million viewers, making it the most Sunday watched Sunday night show since Super Bowl 57. And the Chiefs-Bills divisional playoff game January 2024 was the most watched ever. And then that they made the most watched AFC title game ever. And all that. So, anyway. He did quite well in all that. So, we'll see if Travis Kelsey can stimulate the Swifties and all that. And make things happen. But I think he has. Anyway, I'm Jeff Diamond to do.